Good. Uh, let me ask you this. Can, can you please identify for us the area in which the military has made the most progress? And can you explain why you think they have done well in this area? And then I'm going to ask you about where uh, they're lacking. Uh, Congressman, I think uh, the, the most progress has been in the area of leadership commitment to, uh, to the topic, uh, the importance of diversity and inclusion. Uh, that really touches on several of the recommendations that uh, we made in our report back to uh, Congress and DOD. Uh, but I think it's probably the, the, the number one thing that needs to be addressed if we're going to change the culture. Uh, the leadership rank, uh, certainly the rank uh, leaders who were in exist existence when our report was concluded, uh, and the leaders in the services uh, and DOD today. Uh, as I have personally engaged with them, personally talked to them, personally met with them, both on this subject and as I stated before, and other things that I do within the Department of Defense and the Pentagon, uh, I not only sense, uh, but I feel very, very confident that all of them are committed to the subject of diversity uh, and inclusion. Uh, they recognize that uh, things still need to be done, uh, that there are a lot of things that still need to be addressed, uh, particularly if you're gonna address them in the manners in some respects that we recommended in our report. Uh, but I cannot personally say uh, that I sense any pushback at all from any of the leadership that uh, we have in uh, today's uh, military, and certainly uh, from the Secretary of Defense and, and others in the Department of Defense. But do you have any concerns? I mean, what's your major concern about as far as what has been done so far? In other words, is there any recommendation that seems, or recommendations that seems to, they seem not to have uh, pushed forward in the way you would have hoped? Right? Uh, Contra, I think my primary concern would be in the terms of uh, pace, uh, the timing of getting things done. Uh, as I gave that anecdote earlier, the non-pejorative anecdote about talking to the Air Force, the first ever uh, diversity summit, uh, I want to make sure that we begin to institutionalize the recommendation, uh, recommendations, institutionalize the things that we thought were very, very important, accountability reviews, establishment of metrics, uh, changing the tra uh, training programs and education, that we begin to inculcate those as quickly as possible and not study them or look to see how we're going to, to do that because there's a chance that we will lose the momentum. Uh, and as leadership changes, people changes, that we'll forget about the things that the commitments that we have today. No, so I'm my not, number one concern is pace and time. Yeah, well, we can understand that. One of the things that uh, that I that I learned from being in Congress is that um, you know a lot of times people uh, like when agencies come before a committee, uh, they make certain commitments, and then they wait long enough for the Congress to change, <laughs> and then by the time the Congress changes, then it starts all over again, and with new people, and like you were saying a little bit earlier, it, it, it's just like going in a circle. And, um, you know, one of the things that we were able to do on this Coast Guard Committee, the reason why we got so many things done, is that we started calling people back in. We would ask them, well, when are you going to have this done? And let them give me the deadline. And they said, okay, we're going to have it done in five months. I said, tell hey, you what, how about six? And then they said, we'll bring you back on this date and see where we are. Because other than that, uh, we find that people they don't get things done. And so um, what I am going to ask you and the other commissioners, I know you're I know you're retired now from the commission that is, but you know, I'm hoping that maybe uh, you can give us, uh, General Beckton uh, included back there, uh, some 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 deadline kinds of you know goals to reach the entire um, so that then we can put the some pressure on uh, the military to try to come up with these things. Because other than that, you know, and I love the military, um, but I don't want to be in a situation where we're just getting lip service. Um, life is short. Life is short. The, you know, this whole room in 50 years, uh, half of us won't even be here. And um, so, less than that. And so, I just want to make sure that whatever we do, that we're effective and efficient. This is, like I said, it's not about us. It really is. It's bigger than us. Uh, but I don't. I know I've gone over my time, so it's true. Thank you. Thank you.
the positive micro just responded very quickly to that, and I think it uh, again relates to what I think are the important things to do. Uh, two things uh, that we recommended in our report required that there was somewhat, if you will, uh, out of our lane, if you will. Uh, we made recommendations uh, that talked about the Department of Defense and the services, but also some recommendations to Congress. There were two recommendations we made to consider, for Congress to consider uh, changing Title 10, the Title, Title 10 precept to the Secretary of Defense, uh, specifically to ensure that the subject of diversity and inclusion and metrics on how well the services are doing is, is committed as a formal report that the Secretary has to give to Congress every year. Uh, the other one uh, was uh, related to that in terms of uh, Title 10 responsibilities of the Secretary of Defense. We just thought it was very important for the Congress uh, through that mechanism uh, to establish that this is something that's very important to Congress also, and Mr. Secretary or Ms. Secretary, whoever it might be, we want to make sure that you regularly report this back to us. The services, and I, and I feel confident the uh, Secretary of Defense are beginning to do that, but it doesn't hurt for the future to make sure it's inculcated as something that's expected of future Secretaries of Defense. 